Hi guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my playthrough of the Soul Sacrifice Delta demo on the Sony PlayStation Vita, the Japanese version. So, I am still the Grim faction, so that is neutral, and I'm just going to jump in and test out some of these spells in the training area now. Some new offerings to take a look at. Um, we'll just go through all the new offerings that are available in my current offering selection screen. So this is a blood sword, I've heard about this one. You can see that my health is depleting while I'm using it. It's really fast actually, um, you know, holding down square isn't doing anything other than those slashes. So it's not like you have to form the blades like you do with the Swordsman's Ice Brand. So that's interesting. I equipped this offering because um, it's a new spear type offering, which is really cool. And then I can charge it up, and that's pretty darn epic, I have to say. Uh, this one, I'm pretty sure we did have on Soul Sacrifice, although I never tend to use this type of offering, so I equipped it anyway, just because it didn't really ring a bell to me, so I apologise if it was in Soul Sacrifice, but I hardly ever used um, these fist-high breath offerings, so... Right, next one um, is this one, which is... A rose. Um, you can put it on the enemy and then it's like a detonator so it kind of puts like vines around the enemy and then striking it kind of explodes them so that's a really cool ability that to be honest. See if I carry on hitting this with the rose it does nothing but then if I switch back to another weapon I don't know, to be honest. Does it slow them down, or...? I thought it was like, detonate on impact. Well, I'm not quite too sure what that does anyway. I read somewhere on a forum that it was detonate on impact, but it doesn't seem like it to me. It did look like it the first time. And this one is the summoning of the platform, which is cool. So I can stay on here. And obviously, if I have projectile spells, I can attack the enemy. I don't have any equipped right now. Um, and you'll notice that the platform was red when the little um, minion was attacking it. So I take it that it can be destroyed. If you jump off, you can get back on by going up to it and pressing X and climbing up. So that's really cool. So yeah, um, if I just exit now. I'm just going to switch some of my offerings around. Pretty sure we had that on the last one but I'll equip it anyway. And that's it actually. Okay, so I'm going to use this square one now. So that's got a lot of distance on it and it's got like a four hit spread. Oh no, it's five actually. Yeah, five hit spread, so that's nice. And then we've got this one, which again, I'm pretty sure that was on the original Soul Sacrifice. So that's it, um, if I exit, I'm just going to change my faction and see if that will change the offerings that are available on this demo. So 
let's take a look. Let's go to the um, the Avalon Chaos faction and just check our offerings. See if there's any new ones. Doesn't look like it. So it looks like we're getting the same offerings. No matter what faction we choose on the demo, I'll just double check with the um, Sanctuary Holy Faction. No. Okay, well that's interesting to know. So if I just change back to neutral now, um, I think I'm going to switch to actually I didn't even try this one this looks like another healing spell but uh, I just go in I'll just um, try out this healing spell now see what it does and then I think we'll jump into some packs after that It's an attack spell. It doesn't really seem to be doing much. I don't know whether it's a spell that you can use on your allies that will heal them if you aim at your allies. Um, so that's interesting. I'll have to try and figure that out at some point. So let's just back out of here. And I'll equip the offerings that I like. Um, I'll mainly be going for the new offerings, obviously, to test those out in battle. Okay, so I'm going to switch that back to this sword. I'm also going to have the ice spear, which I didn't show you because it's the same as the other spear weapon I showed you, just a different element, so you're going to get to see that now anyway. Um, I'll keep the rose one. I'll keep the platform one. I'm not sure whether to switch this one out for something else. I might try this distance one. And then I've got two close range spells. I've got that rose one and I've got this one which gives me a bit of distance. Now, when it comes to sigils, I do not read Japanese. So I'm kind of just going to go for... Um, I did use my application on my tablet to translate some of these, but they are very rough translations, so this one I think is magic attack and this one is defense, so I'm just going to stick with those to be honest. Um... Well, that's interesting. They seem to have, um, having those two equipped, seem to have activated special condition. I think that's increased my health because I did have 1000 base health. 147 attack. So that one was attack. This one. Yeah. Okay, so that's interesting. What's this one do? Oh, okay. That's the, um, oh, what's it called? Where it increases your attack, I think, but it gives you one health. I'm not going to be using that. I think I'll go for this one. And I think I'm just going to stick with these sigils throughout this demo playthrough. Because like I said, I don't read Japanese. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, these are different arms we can have equipped. Let's 
Sweet, that one looks cool. I might go with this this one though. Ah, so we've got the B-type enemies, or wasp-type enemies, so let's take a look. Let's have a couple of AI. Ooh, I can have Magusar, that's cool. Oh yes, the graphics have greatly improved on the environments. They were nice anyway on Soul Sacrifice. I've always thought Soul Sacrifice looked nice to be honest. So yeah, we've got lots of hair around here. There we go, if I hold down R and L, it allows fate to decide. I'm not too sure what that's saying. But I can actually choose to just use L or R as well, so that's interesting. So I can still pretty much build, I'm guessing you can still pretty much build the character you want. I'm not actually increasing on either side, so I'm guessing the max level for the demo is level uh, 20. I don't know if I like that, that offering actually, especially not on the small monsters. Be better on the bosses. like that that comes up and spins around. get a little parchment now with the rewards on. Hmm, not too sure what that means. Okay, so the next one looks weird, but I'll save that for the next episode, guys. 
So don't forget to like and subscribe for more Soul Sacrifice Delta demo playthrough footage. You have been watching Gadget Girl Kylie and take it easy guys.